G'day everyone, I'm Wayne Dowson from Wayne Dowson Fine Art, and here's the next video on my Tyrannosaurus Rex sculpture. The mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. And you can see from the last video that I've put it all together. Now I've glued it and also wired it and wired the head on, the jaws together, also glued them on. And I'll show a little bit of a video on me doing the actual sculpting because I've made, I've started to build the legs. But there you go, it's good to get it together to this stage, it's looking great. The, the tail on the T-Rex is what's really going to balance the sculpt up and their tail is, starts off about that wide and tapers down so they had a huge tail really fairly big tail and uh, so I'm looking forward to starting that now this is the process of using this product you take one part of the the resin and an equal part of hardener I just keep rolling it together till it's fully mixed and what I normally do, this whole skeleton has been built to scale just by just by eye. You know, I've I've looked at lots of images, and so using a unit of measure from something that I've already made, I continue to to build each part. So the, I found that the the thigh bones were and, and the shin bones were really tricky to build because you're, you're building a mirror image of, of each piece, the right and left leg. So I drew the thigh bone, as you can see I've, I've drawn it to the scale, drawn it to scale on, on that cutting board and it's a, a fairly rough drawing but then you can see I'm moulding it. I used a piece of dowel which gives me a good indication of the length of the bone. But the beauty of this stuff is once it's dry, you, you can, and you'll see this further on in the video, you can then, uh, using, using a tool, you can, you can grind away at the, the product and add more detail and more shape, which is great for, for doing a skeleton. So here I go moulding the shape out. Now you've got about an hour before it goes hard and I normally leave it overnight and then you can do whatever you want with it. So I made both thigh bones and adding the the bit of dowel gives you a lot more strength as well for the beginning of the skull because it, it's floppy like plasticine. So there you go, the bone's dry. Now I, I then sat it overnight on the chopping block and then <laughs> both thigh bones got stuck on that and you know, tap, tapping away at, a, at the hammer, you'll see that one, one fully broke, the top broke, broke off, which doesn't matter, it looks like bone. So I, so I inserted wires and glued it together and, and then I remolded. I mean, I could have fixed it totally up so that you couldn't see that break, but it looks like shattered bone as you would find in some of these dinosaur fossils. So grinding the flat side where it had been sitting on the on the chopping board I, I ground the edges round and this it's really quick it, it it grinds away really really quickly and then add the shape We're looking at lots and lots of images on the internet but like I said it was really difficult the thigh bones doing the mirror image but I found the easiest way was to put the two bones together once I got one close to how I wanted it then see then then I put the two together and this was a lot easier then to shape one to look exactly like the other so that's how I'll do the rest of the the foot bones and toe bones and such but things like the rib cage and everything that was really easy you know so there's the the hips on the skeleton, close up of the hips where the where the thigh bones will attach. These are the shin bones, and the shin bones 
on T-Rexes are kind of like the bone is, is in two parts. So here I've drilled the, the shin bone, inserted wire, so the next part of the bone will be even stronger. And there you go, then add it, add it to that, let it dry, and grind, give that a final grind. What you can see, the, the bone that's already been ground, there's still a lot more detail pockmarked and and big deep gouges in in the whole skeleton yet yet to do but I'll do it all once it's all put together just add all that final detail there you can see when I spoke in the other video I've I've glued the arms in and fixed up that chest bone there you can see how the head attaches to the aluminium and the jaws I've drilled those out added some some heavy wire and then they go into holes in the top jaw married together with glue. You can see I've started to build the leg bones and they fit in like that and what I intend to do is I need to drill into the meat of this pelvic bone, the hips here, drill up into the meat of that and with some heavy wire set that to the angle that I want at the length of this thigh bone and then the thigh bone will be glued, you can see that flat surface there, it'll be glued to follow the, the angle of the wire and then I'll use using the thin wire as I have on the, the rest of the skeleton, it'll be attached to that. And then at the bottom of the thigh bones, of this thigh bone, not sure if I've got the right bone here, but at the bottom of the bone will attach the shin bone. So that'll be drilled through. The whole skeleton's been put together like this. Drilled through with two wires glued in, drilled into this bone. And that way it'll be flexible enough to move slightly into the pose that I want when I put the whole skeleton together. And then the rest of the the foot and toe bones. So that's where I'm up to now. Once I get these on the angle that I want, I want a really dynamic pose. I want the feet coming off the ground and one foot right off the ground with a good bend in it. So there it is, the Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. Once it's painted, it'll look brilliant. Do it like you see the museum exhibits the brown fossilised bone. Thanks everyone for watching.